Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got us some good news. Got a good recruiting video for you. Let's get right into that. All right, we just picked up another four-star, and this guy's important. He's a, a big-time tackle body, and that's what we needed. And we had been uh, missing out on a couple of guys, and this, this worked out real well. Now, as you know, um, the last few days we missed out on a couple of dudes. Uh, one was Ronan O'Connell, which was an interior offensive lineman. Now, we're pretty strong in that position, so it wasn't that bad. But he was a Tennessee guy, so that was a little bit bothersome, and he went to Clemson. And then Elijah Rushing yesterday, he's a five-star uh, edge rusher. Well, again, we're strong at edge, but it, it would have been great to get a five-star. But he wound up committing to Arizona, which surprised the crap out of me. Arizona doesn't have anybody recruited, but that's his hometown, so that makes a lot of sense. It's hard to uh, beat proximity, and Oregon thought they had him, but obviously not. But today we got what we did need which was a big tackle. And this guy's really good. He's the number one offensive lineman in the state of Ohio, which it's hard to get a guy like that with Ohio State sitting right there. But uh, we did pick him up, and I think he saw the opportunity uh, with the University of Tennessee. We'll take a look at some of his highlights here. And again, he's playing tackle. You can see he will, he will just absolutely battle you, which he's doing right there. And he just takes this guy all the way to the goal line. Here he is again, just manhandling that guy. I mean, he's he's got a mean streak, which is what you want in a tackle. But you can see he's long, uh, got plenty of size, and he will fight you all the way to the <laughs> – that's ridiculous. Now, granted, these are highlights. I understand that. But, man, he looks like that Gage Ginther guy that we got who's another dude that I think is going to be excellent. And, of course, again, these are highlights. But uh, look at the size of this dude. And look at the tenaciousness of this guy. That is, I mean, he's going to the absolute very end of the play until he hears the whistle, and he's going to keep blocking you down until that time hits. Look at the quick feet, very quick feet, and that's great for uh, protecting your quarterback. He's got good leverage, wide feet there, but they're quick. You know, he's got no sluggishness that I see. Whoa. Now that's just a good grief. He's just overpowering that guy. So uh, this is a great get for us, and we, that's enough of those. And again, I know it's uh, highlights, but still, <laughs> you can tell that guy is tenacious. And let's take a look at our ranking right now. We've got 16 commits, which is a little bit low. Most of the teams that are ahead of us have quite a few more. Everybody, I think, has got more than we do that's ahead of us. So again, I'm not as concerned about the ranking. And our average, and I'll show you our average in a minute, but it actually picked up a little bit, but you can see where he fits in with a 92, almost a 93, which is a really good score. He's a top 200 guy. Uh, he could have gone anywhere he wanted. Six foot three, 300, big dude. Uh, again, he could wind up he could wind up playing guard or he could wind up playing tackle either way. You can see we picked up another four star the other day, which is a uh, inside offensive line guy, Max Anderson. That's why I was saying we're pretty strong in there at guard. This Gage Ginther guy, I think he's totally underrated. They have him as a high three-star. From what I've seen from his highlights, he's a beast. And then Jesse Perry, uh, they've got him as a, just a middle-of-the-road three-star, but his entire team is operated around him. The, the whole offense is around this tackle. So let's take a look at our team rankings. Uh, Georgia and Ohio State are still number one. Their average is of 93.5, so they're kind of neck and neck. Then Florida comes in third. They're at about a 92, slightly above that. They've Look, they've had a good run. That bugs me. I'm not happy about that. Michigan, they've got 25 commits. They're basically done. They're going to keep dropping. USC, they could keep rising. They've got a pretty strong average of 91.75, a bunch of four stars. Notre Dame, they're actually below us on an average, so I'm not too concerned about them. 20 commits, they've got about five more to go. Same thing with Penn State. they got about four more commits to actually get. Oregon, slightly below us on average. They've got 18 commits, a couple more than us. Now, here's one that's slightly above us on average, and that's Texas A&M. They're sitting at number nine, and they've got 16 commits, the same as we do. LSU has got two more than we do, but their average is below us. And here we are. We're just shy of 91, which is pretty solid. And we've still got nine more commits to go. Then Clemson is probably going to surpass us based on their average. Let's see, not concerned about Florida State too much, and then everybody behind here, no, no issues. 
except for Alabama. Alabama's down here somewhere. Where the crap are they? Yeah, see, they're at 93 and a half. So they're going to end up in front of us, but that would be about it. So we're probably, at the rate we're going, going to finish maybe seventh or eighth. I was hoping to finish around fifth. Somewhere around seven would be okay. Now, we're going to have to finish up strong to do that. But look, with our system and the way our uh, offense operates, we don't have to have the number one or number two or number three uh, recruiting class, but we've got to be within that realm. You know, we've, we've got a pretty good advantage at coaching. I mean, that's pretty obvious, unless you're just, you know, lying to yourself. We have an advantage. But we cannot be too far behind on recruiting. Last year's recruiting class was really good. I was very happy with that. Like I said, we just keep staying in the top 10, solidly in the top 10, keep having that average around 91, 92 for a, another year or two. And we're, we're going to be there very quickly. I really think 2024 really should have been our coming out party, but we just showed up two years early with Hendon in this offense. This year is going to be very interesting with Joe Milton. And I've said this many times, we're going to go as far as Joe will take us. If he plays really well like he did in the Clemson game, we're going to be rock solid. If he reverts back to some of what we saw before, we won't be, and we'll end up seeing Nico. But I don't know. That Clemson game kind of made me feel a whole lot better about this season, and I think the whole team feels that way. So we'll see how it plays out. But this is a great day. We picked up a really important uh, key player for us, which is a tackle body and a strong one, a good, solid four-star that really any team in the country would have taken. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's be able to continue to cover the Vols, our recruiting and SEC and all the other stuff that I like to cover. And if you've not subscribed, it's on your right my left. Just boop, hit that little button. I'd appreciate it. And right over here is my most recent video. Be sure to check that one out. YouTube thinks you'll love it. And we will see you next time on Sports Talk Jake.